Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is called Angles Formed by Intersecting Lines. This is module 19.1. And don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. And then make sure you click the Integrated Math 1 link at the top. So start off with a couple of definitions here. So when two lines intersect, the angles that are opposite each other are called vertical angles. So here, angles 1 and angle 3 are vertical angles. Angles 2 and angles 4 are vertical angles. So as long as they, uh, you know, if we have two lines intersecting in the opposite angles are called vertical angles. Okay, the other angles are called adjacent angles. So uh, one and two are adjacent angles, and since they make up a straight line, they're called a linear pair. Do you remember linear pairs, you guys? Look at two and three. They make up this straight line right here, so they're also a linear pair. Three and four make up this straight line, so they're a linear pair. So we have linear pairs, and we have what's called vertical angles, okay? Linear pairs makes up a straight line. So look at two and three, for example. They make up a straight line. So they end up being 180 degrees because they're a linear pair, okay? All right, so let's follow. We're gonna do uh, write a plan for a proof in section B here, and then in section C, we're gonna use that information that we got, uh, put together to write a flow chart proof, okay? So, uh, so here it says, given that angles one and three are vertical angles, okay, so those are vertical angles, and we want to prove that angle 1 is congruent to angle 3, okay, so here we go. What we're going to do is first say that angles 1 and 2, see how 1 and 2, they're a linear pair, okay, so similarly, angles 2 and 3 are also a linear pair because they make up this line right here, okay, and linear pair angles are supplementary because they make up a straight line, so they're 180, okay, so these two angles, 1 and 2, 1 and 2, make up this straight line, so they're 180 also. Okay, so we can say that they add up to 180 because they're supplementary. Okay, so if they're supplementary, then they add up to 180. 1 plus 2 equals 180 because of this straight line, and then 2 plus 3 also equals 180 because of that straight line right there. Okay, then we can say since they both equal 180, then we can substitute in this 2 plus 3 in for this 180 because they both equal 180, so that means this equals this. Okay, your book might say the transitive property. I like substitution a little bit better, but they think transitive is a little bit more fancy, and I'm okay with that. Um, and then, so if we subtract off angle 2 on both sides, see if we just take it off here and take it off here, whatever you do to one side, do the other side, then we're left with 1 equals 3 right there. Okay, now this says prove, uh, this says the measure of angle 1 equals the measure of angle uh, 3. Well, um, by definition of congruency, if they're equal to each other, then they're congruent. So there, we got uh, angle 1 uh, is congruent to angle 3. All right, so now don't let this scare you. It's called a flow chart proof, okay? So now we're going to use a flow chart proof. Here's what they gave us. They gave us that 1 and 3 are vertical angles. So we're going to look for 1 and 3 for vertical angles, and there it is right there. So we're going to write down here that was given information. So so put given right there. Okay, and our goal is to prove that 1 and 3 are congruent to each other. So from here, we got to go this way and go this way. These two are the same thing except for different numbers, okay? So 1 and 2 are a linear pair. Well, here's 1 and 2, okay? Uh, angle 2 and what other angles also a linear pair? Remember, angle 2 and angle 3 are linear pairs. So let's put angle 3 in right there, okay? And then right here it says 1 and 2 are supplementary. Uh, well, it doesn't say anything. That's what goes in right here because it says right here 2 and 3 are supplementary. So why are they supplementary? We're going to put in supplementary right there. I'm going to abbreviate sub. Okay, and then right here we can just say right here what that says right here, linear pairs theorem. So definition of linear pairs or linear pairs theorem. I'm sure your teacher will take either one of those. Okay, and then right here, definition of supplementary angles. Well, if these two angles, 1 and 2, are supplementary, then 1 and 2 must equal 180. Okay, down here, since 2 and 3 are supplementary, then 2 plus 3, angle 2, the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 must equal 180. And then this reason goes right here, definition of supplementary angles. I forgot my G. So angles, put your G in there, okay? All right, so don't forget the 180 goes there and 2 and 3 goes there. Okay, so then this flows down to here. Okay, well, since they both equal each other, remember what we did? Then this side equals this side, and we just did substitution 
transportation property or transitive property. Your book likes to use transitive property. Okay, then do you remember how we got from 1 plus 2 equals 2 plus 3? How we got rid of the 2 on both sides? We subtracted on both sides, okay? So we're going to put subtraction. And then uh, right here, definition of congruency. This is always our proof statement. So our proof statement says angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. Well, you bet they are. Since they equal each other, they're definitely congruent. So uh, put in there angle uh, 1 is congruent to angle 3, okay? It's called a flow chart proof. Pretty weird, huh? All right, so vertical angles theorem just says, we just proved it right there, that if two angles are vertical angles, then they are congruent to each other. So here, angle 1 is congruent to angle 3, and angle 2 is congruent to angle 4. See how I highlighted those in red and highlighted these vertical angles in blue? So so we're going to use that to... Um, oh, also, you guys, I forgot. Um, uh, 1 plus 2 is 180. Um, 2 plus 3 is 180, 3 plus 4 is 180, and 4 plus 1 is 180. So that's what this says right here, because they make up a straight line, okay? All right, so find the missing measures of the angles. Okay, if this is 146, this is 146, okay? So let's go ahead and take care of that, okay? And then uh, we got two straight lines. We can either use this straight line or this straight line right here. So uh, because um, uh, angles 5 and 6 are a linear pair, then they must be supplementary. So since 6 is 146, then that means 5 is the rest of the 180. So 180 minus 146. So we get uh, 34. And then angles 5 and 7 are vertical angles. They're congruent to each other. So they're, they're 34 also. So this is 146. This is 34. This is 34 because they're vertical angles. Okay. All right. So find the, missing, uh, find the measures of two vertical angles. Uh, the measures of two vertical angles are 58 and 3x plus 4. Find x. Okay, well, if they're vertical, they're equal to each other. So you just set them equal. Subtract 4. Divide by 3. So x equals 18, you guys. Okay. All right. So I, what did it say? It said uh, find the measure of two vertical angles. Okay, so they're both... Um, uh, uh, oh, find the value of x, sorry. So the vertical angles are both 58 degrees, so x is 18. Okay, sorry, I kind of misread what I was doing there. So here we got the measure of two vertical angles. They're equal to each other, are given by the expressions uh, x plus 3 and 2x minus 7. Find x, okay? So we're going to set these equal to each other. And once we find x, what's the measure of each angle? So I'll plug it into x plus 3. That'll be easier, okay? You can plug it into 2x minus 7 if you want. Okay, they're equal, so I'm going to go ahead and add 7 to both sides. So we did plus 7 to get rid of that. Plus 7 is 10. Okay, now we're going to subtract x from both sides. Okay, so we get x equals 10. Okay, so there's x, and it said find the angle. So I'm going to plug it into the x plus 3, so 10 plus 3 is 13 degrees. So they're both... 13 degrees, okay? All right, complementary angles are angles who add up to 90. Supplementary are angles who add up to 180, okay? All right, so we're going to use that right here to find uh, these angle measures right here, okay? Here's a straight line. So if this side's 90, then this side's 90 right here, okay? So angle AFC is going to be 90 degrees right there, okay? And then um, uh, since this red angle right here is 90 degrees, and if that's 50 by the angle addition postulate, this has to be 40 because 40 plus 50 equals um, equals that 90 right there. So that's how I got that 40 right there. All right, so DFE. Okay, so here's DFE. E. Well, DFE forms a vertical angle with that angle 40 right there, so it equals 40. Can you see these two vertical angles right there? And then AFE, that's this angle right here, AFE. Okay, I use the straight line trick right there. If that's 40, this has to be 140 to make this straight line right here because the straight lines are 180, they're a linear pair. All right, okay, so find the angle measure described. The measure of an angle is equal to the measure of its complement. All right, so if x is the angle, then 90 minus x is its complement because they have to add up to 90. So the measure of an angle is, so here it is, x is the measure of its complement. So we just solve for x now. So we'll go ahead and go plus x plus x. So we get 2x equals 90, so x equals 45. All right, this one says the measure of an angle is twice the measure of its supplement. Okay, well, the supplement is, if x is the angle, then the supplement is x minus, or 180 minus x. So this one says twice, so we're going to multiply this by 2, so that gets wrapped in parentheses right there. All right, now it says the measure of an angle is, so I'm going to say if x is the angle, then this is equal to twice its complement. So x equals 2 times 
uh, x uh, 180 minus x and then uh, so then I distributed the 2 through so 2 times 180 is 360 and then 2 times x and then here I went plus 2x plus 2x that's how we get 3x right here and then divide 3 into into uh, 360 and you get uh, that angle is 120 degrees right there okay the other angle would be 60 because we just plug it in right there to find the other angle 180 minus uh, 120 is 60 right there okay all right you guys that's it I hope that made sense and if you're in my class I'm gonna sign that for your homework take care